This video is sponsored by UnlockThatPhone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier worldwide. Visit UnlockThatPhone.com for more information. Hey guys, so if you are in the market for a new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 ROM, um, more specifically a TouchWiz based ROM, considering we are a li little bit limited on those uh, AOSP ROMs for our phone uh, as of yet, um, I've got something cool to show you. It's called Lab Rat um, from Pinky and the Brain, and they definitely themed it to be Pinky and the Brain Esque, I suppose you could say. Um, really impressive, stupid fast. Like it's like it's on steroids. Like like it's got a turbocharger in it. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and show you what I mean. So uh, right from the lock screen here, you'll notice that yes, this is actually a themed ROM, which um, you know I, I do like. You know when I'm getting into TouchWiz ROMs, theme it, man. I don't want to be staring at the same old blue and nature esque type um, theme that we we've been seeing in a lot of um, uh, custom TouchWiz ROMs. But anyways, so uh, right from the lock screen here, as you can see right. Down in there at the bottom, swipe to take over the world. I really like that touch. And then, of course, we can go ahead and swipe. We've got that cool uh, ink effect. Um, so here's our background. And um, actually, one thing I never even checked on, believe it or not, is um, if we have what kind, if we have any cool uh, custom wallpapers that they may have included for us. And it doesn't look like that's happened. So whatever, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is actually starting out with the application tray. Um, in here we've got a, a ton of applications, but also a ton of applications that have been removed. Lots of Samsung applications have been removed, but most importantly for me, S voice has been removed. Um, anyways, moving on from there, uh, we jump into extras here. We've got some things, and you can see just how quickly those folders. I mean, like that is just blazing fast. Um, so in here, you've got a bunch of extra uh, applications in here that you guys might want to take advantage of. Uh, VPN clients, one of them being something that I might be interested in myself personally. Um, camera application, everything works as you would expect it would. Video as well as picture taking, everything's there, and it even has that perv toggle, aka to turn off the, sh the shutter sound. Um, so moving from there we do have flash player which has already been enabled so flash player good stuff um, we do have messages uh, which is lightly themed as well though it's just a slightly themed take on the stock messaging application um, all of our regular stuff installed now we start getting to some of the interesting things we have a ROM toolbox we have our Wilco 12's updater and we have trickster mod so jumping into ROM toolbox first and foremost if you guys aren't familiar um, this is basically a bunch of tools put together into one application um, a lot of people like it a lot I'm not one of the people I, I have no problem with it I'm just not one of the people that likes to take advantage of it, although I probably should. Um, anyway, so in here in tools, you can see we've got, and this is kind of where all the customizations come into play here because it isn't a custom AOSP ROM. Um, you are, we are going to have to kind of make up for it with um, custom applications that do custom things. So we've got ROM management, so as you can see, and it gives us a short description, you know, installs ROMs, themes, and other zips, things like that, back and restore your current ROM, and so on. We've got App Manager, we've got Root Browser, Scripter, Terminal Emulator, DNS Changer, that's a really useful tool. Um, Auto Start Manager, that's another really useful tool. Configure Apps to SD and Rebooter, which I think is pointless for me personally. Um, and then we can go ahead and move on to Performance here, and as you can see, we've got all kinds of things for CPU control, kernel tweaks, build up, prop editor, task manager, and and SD booster. Uh, we can go ahead and move on to interface here. We've got font installer, boot animations, theme managers, status bar icons, theme chooser, all kinds of stuff. We can go ahead and click on the settings option here and it kind of brings up all that stuff in a nice, neat, uh, nice, neat little list package here. So let's go ahead and back out of uh, ROM toolbox and jump into our Wilco 12's updater. So this is where we will start updating uh, over the air, sort of, it's through an application, but it's still the same idea. Um, either our ROM, we can download and update scripts as well as settings and things like that. This is actually the settings for this actual application itself. Um, but anyway, so really good to see that we actually have some sort of an over the air updater, which is great. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Trickster Mod. Now, a lot of people are familiar with Trickster Mod. If you aren't, Trickster Mod is a really, really popular application to use um, as sort of your, your kernel man manager, if you will. So as you can see here, we've got all kinds of cool things. So actually, let me um, get all the way back to the very start here. So this just gives you some general information on your device, the kernel that you're using, which by the way, if you're wondering the kernel that's on this device or in this ROM, I should say, uh, it's Saber kernel. Um, 
So anyways, it gives you your CPU, uh, CPU stats. I was going to say CPE stats. That doesn't make any sense. Um, you've got your tools. So we've got ADB over Wi-Fi, uh, App Ops Launcher, Device Host Name, Media Scanner, Sys Control Editor. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Uh, generally here, you have TSP, Min Free Control, um, your I.O. Controller, CPU Frequency Controller, all kinds of awesome stuff. CPU Governor Controller. Uh, moving into specific, you've got the Force Fast Charge, which, by the way, if you do want to take advantage of fast charging, just be aware that enabling this will access or sorry will disable access to phone storage so you know kind of use it and if you're going to be using it just remember to turn it off after you're done using it um, and then we've got MP decision multi-core power saving temperature throttle if you guys want to do that that you know we're starting to get really really specific here so some of you guys might want to stay away from that but if you're experienced in this area go ahead and customize to your heart's content um, and that's pretty much it for this particular um, application there uh, and then if we go ahead and pull down our notification drawer not only will you notice that we've got this sort of themed uh, bar along the bottom here but everything else is themed as well and of course it reveals our pinky in the brain cute so uh, anyways I'm really digging the colors that they decided to go with uh, here as well um, I don't know it just kind of seems really nice it's very luminescent greens things like that go ahead and tap on that brings up the rest of our quick tiles um, jump into our settings options here so all the way from uh, connections right down to general you can see that we've got some light customizing going or theming going on throughout the device uh, there really isn't anything to be looking for uh, looking out for within these settings options here Pre basically everything that you need to um, find is found within those applic uh, the application drawer through those three applications that I just showed you um, the only alternative thing that um, is sort of hidden it doesn't really say it, um, there's no application for it although it says that there is it's the um, unlimited multi window application but it's actually hard coded uh, hard coded into the ROM itself so if you go back to the home screen by the way look how bloody fast we can jump between the application tray or the uh, settings menu and back to the home screen just blazing fast um, but if we long press on the back button of course it brings up our uh, multi-window uh, list here and we can go ahead and tap on that little arrow tap on you know edit and of course we have access to all of our other applications that we want to uh, use um, anyways guys um, a lot of people have been saying really good things about this ROM great battery life awesome stability and it is oh excuse me I was coughing a minute ago I'm still sick um, it is very 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 fast and again my hats off to oh boy oh no I need to comb my hair my hats off to the developers for removing s voice thank you very much anyways guys that's it for this room I'll be following this video up with a how to install video for those of you that do need a visual cue but that's it for this one oh and also I'll be placing a link in the description below um, to the actual ROM thread itself over at XDA but as I was about to say that's it for this one thanks as always for watching if you like this video click the likes button down below and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos in the future but that's it we'll see you in the next one cheers guys